Here they come. They're riding fast. They're riding hard. It's time for excitement and adventure in the West with Bobby Benson and the Bee Bar Bee Riders. Bee Bar Bee! Today's exciting story, Double Dare. It's a brisk autumn day down in the Big Bend. Right now, two of the ranch hands, Wendy and Irish, are sitting atop a corral rail, looking at one of the valuable Brahma bulls recently purchased. Suddenly, however, the noose of a lasso snakes through the air and settles over Wendy. A moment more, and he's toppled from the rail and sent staggering backward across the ground. Hey, what the... <laughs> Little boss, why'd you want to go and lasso me? Sorry, be, Wendy, you look like a newborn calf staggering at the end of that rope. Oh, golly, Wendy, I'm sorry if I scared you. I darn near swallowed my bubble gum. I mean, it scared me. Heck no, little boss. Shucks, I wasn't scared, but... You know, when a real tough hombre like me gets took by surprise, he's liable to start a shooting by reflex. <laughs> shooting with what, your bubble gum? That rope had your arms pinned to your side. Now, looky here, Harry. Oh, I really am sorry, Wendy. I was just practicing with my rope. Hike showed me a new way to toss it. Oh, Bobby boy learned fast. He sure took care of a long-eared goat named Windy Way. Now, you keep out of this, Irish. So you think you're good with a rope, huh, little boss? Well, sir, suppose I give you a real test. Yeah. Let's see you toss a loop over that brain of bull. Oh, that'd not be fair, Windman. Too hard. Heck, yes. Look at the whip of his horns. Now, don't go trying to back down, little boss. Go on. I dare you to lasso that bull. I'm not trying to back down, Windy. But I don't think I'd better. It, it might be dangerous. Bobby's right, Windy. That bull's ornery enough as it is. If we try to rope him, it's liable to make him mad. And that brain is awful big. He'd cause a lot of damage if he once got started. <laughs> Afraid to take a dare, eh? Well, it's not that, Windy, but... Well, go on, then. Go on. Just ignore him, Bobby. He's just trying to salve his own conscience by asking you to do the impossible. Oh, I could do it all right. At least ways I think I can. Then go ahead. Go on. I I double dare you. All right, then. I will. Wait, Bobby boy. More better you not take chance. No, sir, Harker. I'm not turning down any double dare. Move over, will you, Iris? So I can get on the fence. All right, Bobby. But be careful you don't get your legs inside. That bull is in a mean mood. I'll road. be careful. <laughs> I'll just get this rope ready. Bobby boy, more ah, better. Ah, let him be, Harker. Go on, little boss. I'm watching. I'll need a big loop to go over those horns. That bull sure looks nervous. Maybe. All right. There. Uh, 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 you missed. All you did was snick him in the nose with a rope. Yeah, but look at the bull. Oh, golly, is he mad? Hey, hey, it looks like he's fixing the charge. Get down, quick, Bobby boy. Look out, little boss. Look out, here he comes. Should you be all right, Bobby Ooh, boy? I, I guess so. I fell when I jumped off the fence, but, oh, golly, how are we going to catch that bull? Bobby, Wendy, what's been going on here? Oh, golly, Tex, am I glad you came. The Bremer bull broke through the corral, Tex. Look, there he goes, heading towards the mountains. You wouldn't think a critter that big could move so fast. A bull like that can do a lot of things you wouldn't expect. Get your horses, boys. We've got to get after him. Oh, golly, Tex, I'm sorry. No time to talk now, son. That bull's big enough and mean enough to cause real damage if we don't get him back fast. Now, get a move on, boys. Let's ride. <laughs> The bull's turned. He's heading towards the Barkley homestead. No, go on. There ain't nothing but women on the place. Come on, we've got to head him off before he gets there. Get up. Go on, get up. Get up. Get up. Glory be, look, Tex. The bull smashed clean through that fence. Yeah, and kept right on going. No, go on. That thing's a living, battering ram. We've got to get him before he kills someone. Come on, let's ride. He ran right through that haystack. Let's turn back toward the mountains. Come on, boys. We may catch him there. Good, Tex. He knocked that feed wagon right over. And we gain it on him. Faster, boys. Faster. Be no Uh, we got him, Tex. He sapped himself in that candy pocket. Well, Wendy's right, Tex. This pass is the only way out. Yeah, he's cornered. But now, how are we going to get him out of there? And him be too narrow. No room for all of us. And it'll take every rope and man we've got to hold that bull if he starts running again. No yep. chance of scaling the canyon wall and getting him from above. It's too steep. Oh, but golly, there must be some way. Uh, but how? Hey, I got an idea, Tex. 
If and I could get him to come out through this pass, you fellas could rope him, couldn't you? Well, I reckon so, but how could you get him to come out? Just leave that to me. Now, just get my saddle blanket off Mabel here. Why do you need your saddle blanket? Heck, little boss. Ain't you never seen how them bullfighters work? Bullfighters? Sure, them, uh, what is it the Spaniards call them? Uh, Cuspidors? I mean, matador, Windy. Well, whatever kind of door it is. Even they can do it, so can I. I'll wave this blank blanket at the bull till he comes out of the canyon. And you fellas can rope him. No, Windy, it's too dangerous. You might be killed. Oh, well, doggone, we gotta get that bull. And heck, I know this'll work. Well... All right, Wendy, go ahead, but be careful. Be awful careful, Wendy. Don't you worry about me. Just you have them ropes ready. Leave the rest to Wendy Wells. Good luck, Wendy. Oh, golly, Tix, you don't think he'll get hurt, do you? I hope not, son. You know, there's no stopping Wendy once he gets an idea in his head. Mm-hmm. Well, she's just got to be all right. All right, men, get your horses ready. Uh, get ready, here, Daniel. Better get those ropes cinched tight around your saddle horns. When that bull comes out, it's going to take an awful lot to stop him. Fellas, look. Wendy, stop. He's just standing there with the blankets in his hand. All right, you longhorn hunk of T-Bone. Stay cool on and dip it. Well, come on. Uh-oh, the bull's seen him. That's a good thing Wendy didn't go any further into that canyon or he'd have been trapped himself. Yeah, that bull be crazy mad. Look, Wendy's flapping the blanket for the, the bull's just standing there, watching him. Oh, what would Wendy want to go further into the valley after that bull for? You'd better stop him, Tate. Wendy! Wendy, come back! I'm not here, you old down. Oh, he's still moving in on the bull. Crazy fool, if that bull charges him now, he'll be trapped. Wendy! Wind man, come back. Tix, we've got to stop him. Oh, we can't, son. If we make any sudden moves now, that bull is sure to charge. It looks like he's fixing the charge now anyway. He's lowered his head. Then shoot him, shoot him. Oh, we can't do that, son. Wendy's in the way. We'd hit him. Glory be, and he's too far away for us to help him. We'd never get to him in time. Amigo, can huh? Get off, amigo. No, no, wait, Bobby. Viva! He's going to try to reach Wendy before the bull does. He'll never make it. The bull's starting to charge now. They'll both be killed. <laughs> A race to the death as Bobby tries to save Wendy from the maddened bull. Keep listening. In just a moment, we'll go back to Bobby Benson and his V-Bobby Bobby riders and find out what happens next in this exciting story of adventure in the West. But first, a word about a race we're having. Yes, sir We're really working hard to get those swell pictures of Bobby Benson and your official membership blanks out to you just as soon as possible. But frankly, you riders have really surprised us. We know how loyal you listeners are to the V-Bar but we didn't know just how many of you would ride in, so you'll just have to bear with us. We're having extra copies of the picture and membership certificate printed just as fast as we can, and rest assured that your personal copies will be heading your way just as fast as we can manage. Now, if you haven't received yours yet, please be patient here. Thanks. And now let's get back to the Big Bend and today's thrilling adventure, Double Dare. Trying to recapture the enraged Brahma bull which broke away from the bee bar bee, Windy Wales has gone into a narrow canyon pocket, only to find himself trapped there. But then as the bull lowers its head to charge, Bobby Benson suddenly spurs his giant Palomino Amigo into action and sends him racing forward. Into the canyon he races toward Windy as the bull also begins its charge. The valley echoes with thunderous hoofbeats as the magnificent horse and the giant bull race toward each other, the tiny figure of Wendy between them. For a moment, it looks as though either might reach its goal first in this race of giants. But then, in a sudden sprint, Amigo reaches Wendy, and he swings into the saddle behind Bobby just in time to escape the maddened bull. Little boss, you saved me. If it hadn't been for you... You're skipping, Wendy. We've got to get out of here before that bull can charge again. No, little boss, look. The bull's gotten out through the pass, and here come Tex and the fellas. Right, Bobby, boy. Oh, sure, I go. Son, I, I, go to work, Bobby. Hank, it wasn't me. It was Amigo that did it all. Who wasn't it, fella? Tix. What's wrong, Bobby? I, I just noticed Amigo's been hurt. Look. Huh? Yeah, I see. It looks like the bull's horns must have grazed his flank as he went by. Who oh, is it, bad Tix? Oh, it's not deep, but we better get him back to the ranch and patch that up. What about bull, El Tano? Well, we've missed our chance to get him, Harker. It'll be dark soon, and it'll be plumb suicide to try to track him in the dark. Well, there's not much danger of us causing more trouble tonight anyhow. He'll probably stay here in the mountains. But tomorrow, we're coming out here again to get him. Now, let's head back for the ranch. Hey, quiet, Hero. They'll hear you. What'd you do out here, Bobby boy? What? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's you, Harker. I'm not doing anything. Hmm. Horse be saddled. Dog got collar on. You, you all dressed. 
That'd be a funny way to do nothing. But the... Oh, doggone. Where are you playing go, Bobby boy? Not be good right at night. Well, I might as well tell you. I'm going to try to find that darn old bull. In dark? That'd not be good. But, golly, Harker, it's all my fault that the bull broke loose. If I hadn't thought I was so smart and tried to rope him, the bull never would have gotten away. How you find bull in dark? Well, sure we'll find him, won't you, fella? <laughs> I've been training him, Parker. He can follow trails by the smell. Uh, maybe so. Don't be smart. We can find the bull tonight. Maybe even catch him. Uh, too dangerous, Bobby boy. You not try hunt bull in dark. Oh, I've got to, Harker. It's the only way I can square myself. Me tell El Tejano to stop you. Oh, Harker, you wouldn't snitch on me, would you? Uh, you put Harker in bad spot, Bobby boy. But you won't tell him, will you? Me? No, me not tell. But not let you go hunt bull alone, either. What do you mean? You wait while Hark the saddle horse, Bobby boy. Maybe so may not be able to stop you. Let me go along, see you not get hurt. Oh, golly, Harker. It's funny to be riding this horse instead of Amigo. No, not be for long. Amigo be all right. Well, that's what Tick said. But he told me not to ride him for a few days. Not until I... Hey! Amigo must have picked up the scent! Uh. The way bull go when we last see him. Oh, it's sure a good thing there's a full moon. Makes it almost like daylight. Yeah, that'd be good. We won't catch bull, not want him catch us. Golly, what's Hero doing now? Going all around in circles, sniffing the ground. And try to decide which way bull go. Hey, look, Harker, he's got it. There he goes. Come on, Harker, after him. You're not going too fast, Bobby boy. All right. Many mile already. Oh, golly, in one trail. In one canyon, I'll already. Hey, that's Arrow Burton. Sounds like he found something. Maybe him find bull. Come on, we better get around there fast. Get out! Hey, wait, it, boy. Let Harker go first in case you be bull. No, it's all right, Harker. There's Arrow, and I don't see the bull. Oh, boy, hold it, hold it. Golly, what's wrong with you, Arrow? Why are you barking at that big rock there? Look, Bobby boy. That'd be why he barked. It's the bull. He was behind that rock. I'm going to charge. Parker, the horses, they've run off. And here come bull. No. No, look, Parker. Hero stopped him. He's snapping at the bull and keeping him there. This is our chance. Quick, this way. No, I've got to help Hero. I've still got my rope on. You're not trying to rope bull. Not do any good. But he's trying to trample Hero. I've got to stop him. Let me go, Parker. You come this way through here. Then be called, dog. Come. come. Parker. Bull not be able to follow here past the narrow. Ah, there. Now call, dog. Oh, here comes Doug. Oh, come on, Hero. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Oh, good boy, good boy. Gosh, the bull almost caught him. See, Bobby boy, bull outside pass. Not can get through. And golly, would he like to? Look at him, Harker. Oh, now I'm real mad. Well, he can't get us in here. Hey, but how are we going to get out? This be Box Canyon. No way out but one pass. Oh, and the bull's waiting for us out there. Oh, golly. Uh. We'd be safe here, but no can get out. Do you think the bull will give up and go away? Uh-uh, not think so. Well, what do we do? All we can do is wait. Boys from ranch find us. But, golly, they probably won't even miss us till morning. You mean we're going to have to spend the night in this canyon? Mm, look that way. Oh, gosh. Uh, but not here. More better we sleep on ledge. Well, there. Why, Harker? Eh, maybe snakes in canyon. We not take chance. Okay. <whistles> Come on, hero. Come on, fella. Wait, Bobby boy. That dog smells something. See our hair stand up? But what could he smell? Uh, let me find out. You wait. I could take sticks, stir up grass. Uh, yeah, now let me find out. I still don't see anything. Tell me, Hero, what's bothering you? There's nothing in that front. Harker, behind you. It's a robber. Get back, puppy boy. Oh, but he's going to have a strike. Harker! Uh, me fritz. You did it. Oh, you killed him, Harker. Uh. Me too. Oh, golly, if you hadn't been fast enough, you'd have... Oh, why wouldn't you run now? Yeah, me not fast enough. Those spots are... You've been bitten. Yeah. That rattler's poisoned you! Parker, bitten by a poisonous rattler, in need of immediate medical attention. And yet there's no way that they can get out of that canyon. Be sure and keep listening. In just a moment, we'll go back to the Big Ben for the thrilling climax of this exciting story of adventure in the West. But first, 